gun from a distance is tag. He had a broken neck from a car. You want to tell him the people what happened to you? Uh, well, for starters, I was I was T-boned by an SUV at 40 miles an hour. Uh, he crushed my car. The window slammed against my head at 40 miles an hour. Shattered the window. Broke my neck. The firefighters had to cut me out of the car with the jaws of life. Uh, policeman on the scene said that he was surprised I was not mashed potatoes. When I got to the ER, they ran me through all kinds of CTs and MRIs and x-rays. Tad had got this policeman to call me and I called Philip and informed Philip that he'd been in his car wreck and Philip said I will take care of him right away. Mm -hmm. So you're in a UCLA? Yeah, I'm in mean, UCLA hospital. They're running me through all these exams. In a follow-up visit, I asked the neurosurgeon, why, do you, why did you run me through all these, these uh, scans? And he says, no one comes out of an accident like that. You know, multiple facial fractures, multiple skull fractures, torn tendons, uh, significant brain bleeds, if not brain damage, and internal ch chest cavity injuries. And I had none of that. I had, did have the C2 break in the neck. Now, this is something else interesting. And your surgeon's five millimeter gap, right? It's disengagement yeah. of head from shoulders. Yeah. It was not a hairline fracture, deal. it was complete separation of the bone. The neurosurgeon tells me I had the same C2 fracture as Christopher Reeve. And the only difference between Reeve and me was that Reeve's tendons gave out, mine held. Now Reeve was Superman, an expert horseman. Neck like a tree. Neck like a tree, bodybuilder. And me. I work on a computer all day. Um, so. Incidentally, Christopher Reeve had to have bolts hold his head on, mm -hmm. and the incongruous neurosurgeon looked at him and somehow your neck tendons held, mm -hmm. which was quite a thing. Right. So, well, Reeve was also in a coma for three weeks and apparently quadriplegic for the rest of his life, short life. I didn't even have a concussion. With a, with a window shattering against my head at 40 miles an hour, no concussion. I was completely conscious the whole time. I was able to assess my, my injuries, fully, fully possessed with the ability to have, give instructions for a phone call to be made to call in Philip Savage to help. And a key point noted by the medical staff was he had no pain. No pain. That's in the documents. No pain. Patient refused pain medication. Amazing. The absence of injury to begin with was fantastic. <laughs> it's beautiful not to be quadriplegic, not to have been in a coma, to have been fully conscious and no pain. It's beautiful. <laughs> um, but beyond that, the prognosis after getting to the ER was nine months uh, for a full, no, nine months to a year of full knitting of the bone, being in a neck collar for at least six months, um, and diagnosing somewhere around six month range whether there'd be therapy or not. I didn't need any therapy at all for this neck. Because he made that call, because his, his accident was taken care of by Philip. His recovery, the process of his recovery was taken care of with SDI from a distance. Completely. And he's a piece of proof. Completely. Documents of all about this will be available at Monty's Kitchen's website.